welcome to SunCommon. My name is Dwayne Peterson, uh, along with James Moore. Uh, we founded this business seven years ago. Uh, we're here because burdening our young people with crushing student debt is messed up. Vermonters alone owe $700 million from their educations. Let me say that again, $700 million Vermonters alone owe for their educations. So we're here today just to talk about one step uh, that employers here in Vermont can do to be part of the solution. Uh, with us we have uh, Congressman Peter Welch, uh, who will talk about uh, what he's doing at the federal level. Um, we have uh, Samantha Sheehan from Vermont Businesses uh, for Social Responsibility to talk about some state policy that might help. Uh, and we have Robin Gresham, a Sun Common employee, to talk about her own personal experience uh, with student debt. So, Congressman. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Duane. It's uh, wonderful to be here at Sun Common. And uh, wonderful to be here with a company that is uh, doing all it can to help uh, its employees deal with the burden of debt. You know, student debt, we all know, it is just an astonishing millstone uh, around young people starting out in their career. And it's a millstone around uh, some of the parents of those kids who refinance their mortgage in order to give their kids the opportunity to pay for college and possibly get out without as much of a debt. But, you know, I met Vermont families where they were like a year or two from retirement and they were trying to figure out how to juggle to help their two or three kids go to college. And at the end of the day, after all the loans and everything else, they basically decided that month cruise they were looking forward to for 30 years, well maybe that can wait another five or six and they refinance their homes to help their kids. But even with that, the kids end up graduating with debt. You know, the average debt uh, in Vermont is about $29,000. That's a lot to start out with. And that's, a, that's like the average debt. There's a lot of kids who have debt that is much higher. Uh, and it is uh, an incredible burden when you're starting out to have to figure out how to pay that back. And it really has significant consequences on the options that uh, young people have to come back to Vermont if they can find a job that's gonna pay them enough uh, in order to pay off their debt and get a condominium or an apartment uh, or a car, let alone uh, think about buying uh, their first place. So it's a real burden on the economy. And it's a source of significant anxiety uh, for young people. And it's, it doesn't have to be this way. This has all happened in, in my generation. You know, when I, I went to uh, college and law school, and I had like $5,000 of debt at the end of that. And it was not a big deal. Uh, but it was because tuitions weren't really a big deal uh, when I was going to school. So we've got $1.6 trillion of debt in the country, Dwayne. 700 million here in the state of Vermont. Uh, and it is a crisis. And what can we do? I mean, starting with uh, the, the colleges and higher ed and institutions of higher education have to do all they can to curb cost. We've got to start to some extent there. We also have to have interest rates uh, that reflect the low rate that the government can borrow at. You know, we're borrowing federal money at uh, less than 2%. Yet, in many cases, student loans and loans that parents get on behalf of their kids are 8%. And there's a variety of things that we could do, starting with lowering the interest rate and let all students consolidate debt at the much lower rate, closer to what the federal funds rate is. That would bring down the cost of servicing those loans enormously. But this is an all-hands-on-deck situation. And what Sun Common is doing is saying to their employees have student debt, that we will make payments on your behalf so that that burden, up to $5,500, I think, a year, uh, will be diminished. And what a benefit. We're going to hear a little bit about that. But here's the irony. They don't get to deduct that. And when Sun Common makes that payment under current law, the student has to report that as income. They never see it. It goes directly to paying off the loan. So instead of the employer getting a deduction, as they do when they provide employer-sponsored health benefits, that's a cost to the employer, obviously inhibiting their ability to help their uh, 
employees with student debt. And then secondly, the student who is all excited that they got some help from their employer gets a tax bill uh, because they have to treat that uh, as income even though they never saw it and they're paying down the debt. So the legislation that I'm, that I'm co-sponsoring um, is the Employer Participation Loan uh, Assistance Act. And what it would do is, in effect, treat contributions by employers towards student loan repayment, much like employer-sponsored health care is treated. The employer who made that payment would be able to deduct that from their top line, and the student who received the benefit would not have to report that as income. And that would be a significant encouragement for other employers uh, to step up like Sun Common has. Now what's remarkable, and this is your uh, triple B bottom line, right? Uh, Sun Common is doing this, and some Wall Street economists might say, this is really stupid. You're wasting the money, because they're not getting a deduction, OK? Uh, and I don't think it's stupid, and I think we'll hear why uh, Sun Common doesn't think it's stupid. It's really great for Vermont. It's really great for the students. Uh, but this is a very concrete piece of legislation that would be beneficial to employers and students across the country. And it doesn't matter whether you're from a red state or a blue state. Uh, the heavy burden of student debt knows no political boundaries. It's, it's really hurting all our kids. And by the way, I think the burden is especially high in rural areas uh, because uh, the job prospects in, our, in, in, in rural areas are, are many uh, cases more challenging. We have big demands to try to get broadband built out so we can get businesses like Sun Common going all around rural America and rural Vermont. Uh, so anything that a company can do that makes that margin of difference for a young person to be able to take that job back here in Vermont, that really, really makes a difference. So uh, student debt, incredible problem. We've got to be all hands on deck and facing it. We've got to do it with a combination of control of spending at, and cost at the education level. It's got to be programs at the state and local level that reduce the cost uh, of student debt and the interest rate that they have to pay. And I'm delighted to see employers like Sun Common stepping up and saying, you know what, we'll bear some of the burden because we believe in our employees. We know what a challenge this is and we want to help. But in order for Sun Common and other companies to help, we've got to at least allow them uh, the accounting adjustment so that when they're paying uh, benefits for employees, they're not paying taxes uh, on that benefit to the employee as well. That money does not go in the pocket of Sun Common. It goes, it does not go in the pocket of the student. It goes to the lending institution uh, and in most cases is charging interest rates that are way higher than they should be. So, Sun Common, thank you so much for uh, your effort and I'm looking forward to working on a bipartisan way to get this legislation passed. Thank you. Thank you, Congress Member, for your leadership on this, not just for Vermont, but for all the country. Uh, let me share a little bit about how we got into this. So, Sun Common, we start from the belief that everyone deserves a healthy environment uh, and a safer world, and that clean energy is where that starts. Um, we know that clean energy can build uh, vibrant communities um, and, and fuel all of our lives. And so our mission is to knock down the barriers that had stood in the way of people getting into the clean energy revolution and to use our business as a force for good. So use it as a force for good. One of the things we do is we care for our employees, our fellow Vermonters, uh, and those of us now who are working in New York. Um, so of course, we provide uh, health insurance and dental insurance and disability, especially for our construction people. Um, we uh, offer paid family leave, uh, and we, we contribute money into our employees' retirement accounts. So a couple years ago, I'm going over the books at the end of the year, how we do budget versus actual, you know, all that business stuff, and I look at the line, and we're way under budget on contributing to our employees' retirement accounts. We're like, well, well, why is that? Oh, I bet I know. And so we survey the employees who are not participating. We're trying to give them money, right? And sure enough, crushing student debt. Hmm. Their financial advisors tell them, especially with the interest rates that they're being gouged, 
pay that debt down as quickly as you can because you're paying all that interest and only then start saving for your retirement. And I thought, well, that's messed up. Mm -hmm. Like these people are putting off saving for their futures. Let's put the money that we would have paid into their retirement account into their student loan debt. And, and when I ask questions like, has this ever been done before? And I get the answer, well, gosh, I've never heard of that. That's music to my ears. Let's mm -hmm. figure this out. So it is 2019. There is an app for that. There's lots of vendors now that make this easy for employers, just like we contribute to the health care insurance premiums or the 401k. We can contribute directly into our employees' um, student debt. Um, 16 of our employees are now doing that, uh, paying down their debt as quickly as they can uh, with our help. Um, and that's great. But then I come to find out, as the Congress member suggested, that um, our, our laws you know, were written a while ago. Uh, and they don't always account for what's going on in modern America. This crushing college student debt is relatively new. And so while uh, employer contributions into health insurance or into 401k uh, is not taxable to the employee, alas, because the laws haven't kept up, they are taxable to the employee. So we're still going to do it. Uh, our employees who opt in are still getting a chunk uh, of money uh, to pay down their debt that they wouldn't have had otherwise. That's great. But our, our member of Congress uh, and our local state legislator, uh, Tom Stevens, um, have legislation to put employers doing the right thing, contributing into their employee student debt on the same footing as 401k or health care. Um, so I would encourage businesses to get into this now. Uh, it's not just kind, it's not just loving, it's not just good for the employees, it's good business. We want young Vermonters uh, to, to stay and work here. We want them to go away, get their chops and come back that much higher skilled. Um, this is a way that we can help young Vermonters uh, get in on the American dream. Think about buying a home, think about starting a family, put down and lay their roots here in Vermont just as we have enjoyed. So this is good business as well and I would encourage other businesses to look into this as well. Um, I'd like to introduce uh, Robin Gresham. Uh, works here at Sun Commons. She's been here for half of Sun Commons life, um, uh, three and a half years uh, in our uh, accounting office. And so, hmm, accounting, maybe she knows something about this as well. <laughs> Please. Yeah, I, again, my name is Robin. I'm an accountant here, and um, I've benefited from the Student Loan Financial Assistance Program um, since it was introduced here uh, nearly two years ago. And um, I come from a family of teachers, and it was always a given that I would pursue higher education and that I would assume the financial responsibility that comes along with it. Um, between undergraduate education and then continuing it and later on, I accumulated a pretty sizable uh, student debt. Um, at one point, I was paying nearly $1,000 a month in uh, student loan payments. Um, yeah, ouch. <laughs> uh, I carried that debt with me into the next phase of my life, um, into marriage and uh, life with children, and um, and now I pay it uh, alongside my mortgage payment. Um, it's it's definitely it's been a, a tough path, but um, I am an accountant and I've been responsible and I've stayed current on my payments. Um, but it hasn't been without impact. Uh, I I would say that the biggest impact is is clearly on on my savings for the future. Um, and, you know, I, I think it, it's, it's really hard to plan for the future when you're working so hard to just dig out from the past. Um, for me, the hardest part is also just the idea that I'm essentially borrowing from my future and um, from my future retirement savings um, and from my col uh, the college fund of my children. Um, it's, it's a bit terrifying and heart-wrenching to think that I might pass this burden on to them. Um, fortunately, I'm starting to see the surface. Uh, fingers crossed, within a couple of years, I'll have my loans paid off. Um, but in big thanks to the, this uh, financial assistance program that SunCommon 
has participated in. I, a couple months ago, I, I paid off one of my loans in its entirety. Um, and so one more to go, and um, unfortunately, I fear I'm a little, I'm a little behind. Um, it's going to be a big scramble to get caught up. But of course, you know, programs and legislation like this is, is really what's going to help me get there a little quicker. So thank you. Thank you. Um, so last is uh, Samantha Sheehan from Vermont Businesses for Social Responsibility. Please. Thank you. My name is Samantha Sheehan. I'm the Communications Manager for Vermont Businesses for Social Responsibility, or VBSR. We are a business association, a statewide business association here in Vermont with over 700 member businesses who um, advocate for policies which support our communities, the environment, and uh, workers. We give our business members a voice at the Vermont State House on a variety of sustainable economic development and social equity issues. Um, upcoming generations of workers are experiencing significant student debt load. The average student debt graduating from college in 2000 2017, as you've already heard, um, left school with about $28,000 in debt. Workforce development is an integral part of our sustainable economic agenda at BBSR, and many of our member businesses have found that offering inclusive employee-first workplaces helps attract and retain those employees. Our members know that as an employee and their community prospers, a business succeeds. A growing number of Vermont employers are now offering benefits similar to the one here at Suncommon um, that work much like a retirement contribution match. Businesses like this who have piloted this innovative benefit have seen really high enrollment in the young professional community. Therefore, on behalf of our member businesses, BBSR was pleased to give leadership support last year to uh, legislation introduced at the Vermont State House by Waterbury Representative Tom Stevens, uh, Bill H-290, which would create a deduction on taxable income up to $5,000 for student loans uh, debt paid for by an employer. We hope that Vermont's elected officials will uh, recognize the impact of such work that the business community is doing, and that through this legislation, more Vermont workers will be able to access this really common sense benefit and be able to better contribute to our shared local economy, but also better able to support their families and contribute to a more prosperous future for us all. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? I have a question. Covered it all. Yeah. <laughs> very badly needed, but when you talk about uh, schools lowering their costs, um, can you give some ideas of how you think they should do that? You know, that, that's, that's got to be up to them. I mean, we got it in a spiral here, because what I saw is student loans became more and more available. Tuition kept rising. So every time there was a dollar of aid available, tuition went up a dollar. So with Senator Grassley, actually, he and I began asking the question, uh, what are our college institutions going to do to try to help? And frankly, those decisions have to be made at that level because they have control over the budget and they know what they need. But you know, some of the things that uh, are obvious. You know, when I went to school, we didn't. <laughs> not that not that anybody should try to do it, but you don't necessarily need all these incredibly lavish. Uh, facilities if that results in a much bigger price tag to get the education. So that's just got to be part of it. That's my, my strong view here. Uh, and by speaking out about it, I, I'm getting a sense that our higher education institutions are getting that message. Uh, and also you saw what happened in Vermont uh, where our high school seniors can start getting college credits the first year. So that has actually helped enormously uh, it creates a bit of a challenge for our local um, schools where they lose some of the property tax uh, for some of the, uh, the state aid revenue. So that's a challenge for Montpelier workout. But it's really been a way where you can compress uh, that uh, 
four years down maybe to three or three and a half, and that's real, that's real savings. So that, my, my point is that's got to be part of it. Yes? What would be your message to other Vermont businesses regarding this issue? Do as Suncommon does. I mean, this, this is an extraordinary decision by a company because they're essentially making an expenditure on behalf of their employees. And under the tax law, the, the, the compensation to an employee is deductible. It's not income. It doesn't go to their bottom line. They can't reinvest. Uh, they can't get a new truck. They uh, basically have to write this check uh, to cover the student loan. So the tax law should, I think, uh, reflect the reality of the situation, that this is an investment in their workers, uh, and then they should be able to deduct it. So that's an impediment for other businesses, uh, but to the extent that businesses step up uh, despite uh, the gap in the law right now, uh, Sun Common is a wonderful example of that commitment to their employees. And by the way, this is the whole debate that's happening. Um, it's, it, it, it's about what's the role of corporations in the economy. And we've skewed so far that it's just about shareholder return and compensation to executives as opposed to what they can do in the community and what they can do for their workers. And I think there's a pushback among many of our companies to acknowledge that there is a responsibility uh, to do the job to their shareholders, but also to their employees and to the community. And I think this decision by Sun Common uh, reflects that commitment as being for real, uh, not just when it's convenient. But I do think that there is a public policy responsibility. You know, we can't in Washington really have an expectation that companies um, are going to take financial risk uh, that with a policy change could be mitigated. So we've got the responsibility, I think, to pass this legislation and let this employee benefit be treated much like all other employee benefits. And that is a deduction to the company and not as direct income to the employee. Could, could I take a, um, so Sun Common may have uh, figured something out here that other Vermont businesses um, could look at as well. So helping our employees with their crushing college student debt is good for them and it's really good for our business. And I'm here to say it's not that expensive. We looked at it and it's one third of 1% of our total compensation budget is going to helping our 16 uh, employees who are participating wow. in this. So this is not just for the national lives of the world or the really monster companies. This is what Main Street businesses in Vermont can do to support their employees uh, and build their businesses even stronger. So how much are you paying? Uh, I think uh, on a yearly basis in the $30,000 range. So small for you, but big for the individual employee, like Robin, right? Yeah. I mean, that's a big deal for you. Absolutely, and uh, I think one of the interesting points about it is just that um, it, you, you it is a match. It is a match. Um, so it essentially is. Um, it doesn't take the place of a student's payment um, or a, an, an employee's payment, um, and therefore it's primarily applied, uh, I think, in full to the principal balance of that loan which just means that that loan is going to uh, pay down much, much quicker. And that's a really, um, that has a really considerable effect. Um, and it's not essentially uh, taking away the responsibility of that employee, um, it's just helping them out. When we pulled our members uh, in 2019, uh, businesses in our membership were offering a student debt uh, repayment match at a higher rate than they were offering childcare subsidies or contributions. So just to give you an idea that it, it's a relatively new idea, but it's quickly uh, gaining steam in the Vermont business community. Uh, Congressman, yeah. realistically, how quickly do you think this legislation could pass? Um, we've got a situation in Washington that you may have observed. <laughs> it's called a situation. Uh, you know, frankly, we could pass this in the House. We've got a working majority there. And we have been aggressively pursuing legislation that meets 
the concerns of everyday people. Student loans is something that's been front and center. Gun violence, we have passed in the House and sent to the Senate uh, background check legislation. Uh, we're, this week and next week, we're going to be taking up uh, price negotiation in prescription drugs to lower the cost of drugs. We hit a stone wall in the Senate. Uh, Senator McConnell's made it clear he's not going to attend the legislation. He's basically going to just focus on uh, electing judges. So that's realistically an impediment that I don't see us being able to overcome. Senator McConnell is in charge of the calendar in the Senate. I have my doubts about whether that's a nice incorporation of power in one person. But I do think that it's really important for us in the House to move on this and these other items to establish a foundation that we want to do business. And our focus is on getting things done that make a difference to uh, our, the citizens we represent and to the companies that are doing the right thing, to employees like Robin who've worked really hard. So I would not make a prediction that there'll be a road to Damascus conversion for Senator McConnell uh, where he starts thinking maybe his job is to legislate. Uh, but on the other hand, if we can pass this in the House, uh, and then have that as a foundation. The voters are going to weigh in uh, very soon, and we'll have the foundation of a solid agenda to revive the middle class. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.